With the chance of catching a buffalo gone, the hungry lions focus on the mongooses. The females and young head for safety. They're the family's future. Lower ranking males draw the lion's attention away. The mongooses can't simply run down a hole, as the damp ground is soft enough for the lions to dig them out. The magua bandits need all their skills in escape and evasion. The difficulty is doubled for Kisu, who's running blind. In the confusion, Kisu is left way behind by the fast-moving pack, desperately calling for help. Torkor answers, trying to lead him to safety. Once close enough, Torkor runs by Kisu's side, calling constantly to guide him. Cries of panic let everyone know another youngster is also separated. With a leopard nearby, the situation is critical. Leopard and lion hear the distress call. Odu makes a daredevil rescue attempt. And things go horribly wrong. The screaming youngster is snatched. So is Odu. The surviving members head back to the den. Kisu still led by Torko, his steadfast protector. For Ila, Odu's death is a tragic blow. She searches for her mate high and low. But without success. All she can do is seek solace with the rest of her family. There is some good news. Kisu's eyes are finally opening. The little fighter will stop being a liability and develop into a key player in the mongoose team. His loyal guardian is a strong contender to take over as top male. But it's Ela who will choose a new partner to help her lead and defend the group. Her experience has led the bandits through a tough year. They have lost three of the family to predators, but the gang's now 31 strong. The youngsters still have a lot to learn. But with Ela at their head, the future looks bright for the bandits of Sulu. Thank you.